We are just ahead of the COP26 in Glasgow, and this will really be crunch time for climate action. What we need is as many countries as possible to dramatically increase their climate ambition. And Europe has come up with a very ambitious reduction plan, minus 55% by 2030, and the business community stands firmly behind this target. But it's also clear that Europe, with 8% of global emissions currently, 5% in 2030, will not be able to save the world alone. We also need the others to be ambitious, because otherwise it would not be fair for the competitiveness of European companies, but at the same time it would, before everything, not be enough to save the world climate. What we also need is common reporting and transparency rules in order to make the efforts of different countries comparable and also measurable. And we will finally need, after many years of discussion, uh, common rules on international carbon markets in order to allow countries to trade and be compensated for the reduction efforts and for the sinks they are dealing with. This is the only way to achieve the 2030 reduction targets in a cost-effective way. All in all, there is no alternative to a successful outcome of the COP26 in Glasgow.